This is what we've been training for all year. The UCF programming team is going to the biggest programming competition in the world. They call it the Battle of the Brains. We're here today in Rapid City, South Dakota for the 2017 ACM ICPC World Finals. We're here with the best of the best teams of the world in computing, the top 133 teams of the universities of the world out of 50,000 competitors. UCF is here virtually every year. They have very competitive teams, and so just to make it to the World Finals each year is amazing, but to make it with the regularity that they do demonstrates a wonderful support of the university at UCF. This year, they have selected 133 teams out of those 13,000 plus teams to go to World Finals. So winning Southeast Regional and advancing to World Final. That means we are already in top 1% in the world. Our team has won the Southeast Regional the last five years in a row. So this is the longest streak for the Southeast Regional since it began. Our goal now is uh, do well among the USA teams and do well worldwide. That is our next goal. Three members of the team are Timothy Bazelli, Alex Coleman, and Joshua Lynch. I considered some other colleges in Florida, but UCF was definitely the most serious about their computer science department. And once I visited the school, I really felt that I fit in, and that's where I really wanted to go. So I first found out about the programming team in my second year. Dr. Ruji actually came into one of my classes and discussed, hey, you guys should check out this competition and you might be able to join the team. UCF made it onto my radar because of their National Merit Program, but then what actually pulled me into it was the programming team, just seeing the stuff that they're doing. All three of them just pick up anything I throw at them, even if it's something more complicated than any other World Finals team has solved before. The rate of their growth has been extraordinary. People ask me about our record and how we've accomplished this. Uh, the number one reason is that they are willing to put the time and effort. And number two is uh, the former team members willing to coach the current team members. There's always a sense of nervousness, right? So when you go to a contest, you know, you can do everything you want for preparation, but at the end of the day, there are things out of your control. You can't control the problems in the problem set. You can't control the nerves of the students. We know that we're well prepared, but every time we go into a contest, we don't really know, you know, there's always that some sort of uncertainty. The 2017 Rapid City World Finals has now begun. Yeah, they had a little slow start. Uh, they were going after a harder problem because they were hoping to get it fast. Um, but once they decided to give up on that, they quickly got the three problems that were the three easiest. But then after that, they've recovered. Then they had a little slow time getting the next two. They had some problems with those. But then they, very, in very quick succession, got two more to get to five. Three, two, one. I am so proud of our team. This was the first time in 35 years that we were the best team in the United States. We beat MIT, Princeton, and UC Berkeley. And we finished 13th in the entire world out of over 13,000 teams that tried. What's neat about the team is for every single kid, be it a world finalist or a kid that just does their developmental team for a year, they benefit greatly with respect to their job search. They get job offers from the top companies all over the country. After World Finals, I will be moving to Seattle to start my job at Facebook. Directly after the contest, I'm actually flying up to Washington and I'm gonna be interning with Google this summer. Any place they wanna go, they get the job offer. We have top-notch faculty, great environments for both research, for the programming team, and for the undergraduate. We got a faculty that's really committed. And so I'd say that all of those are reasons to come to UCF.